Helene, raging as uh, across the south, some of the effects are going to be felt here in Michigan over the next couple of days, as Ron has been warning us. Ron? That's right, uh, Devin. We are already starting to see some of those effects. And one, that we're seeing some of the clouds that we have in Metro Detroit, as well as the wind. And you might just be able to see the camera shaking a little bit. That's the downtown skyline view from Windsor. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of these temperatures. We're in the lower to mid 70s, 76 in Detroit, Ann Arbor, 72, 75 for Port Huron, Adrian. We're coming in at 74 four degrees and it is breezy in Adrian and Monroe and Detroit as well. So those clouds coming up from the south, you have less of the cloud cover the farther toward the north you are. Lapeer, Imlay City getting into Port Huron. You have more of that cloud cover as you get into Gross Hill, getting into the Belleville area as well. So here's what we're seeing on radar and satellite. The clouds over much of the Mid-South and even here in the Great Lakes and then the rain. It is really coming down in places such as Memphis as you get into areas like Indianapolis. They're getting into the rain. Columbus, Cincinnati, heavy rain coming down right now. We will start to see some of those showers moving into our area later this evening. Now, I talked about the winds. It's breezy out there. And the farther south you are, closer to Helene, that's where those winds are stronger. So you get down toward Monroe, we have sustained winds of 18 miles per hour. Same for Gross Ill. You bring in those gusts, and with these winds, they're a little bit lighter toward the north, closer to about 20 miles per hour as you get into the thumb, but as high as 36 miles per hour right now in Monroe. Well, these winds are coming out of the northeast. That's creating some issues for people who live near the shoreline. Now, those wind gust forecasts for the rest of tonight will still have breezy conditions getting into the overnight hours around 20 miles per hour with those gusts in the daytime hours tomorrow. Still just as high, about 15 to 20 miles per hour, and it'll be a breezy day for us on Sunday as well. Now, I talked about some of the issues that could be caused because of those winds whipping the water near the shoreline. So shoreline communities of Monroe County. That's where we can see some shoreline flooding going until tomorrow morning. That is a concern near the shoreline. We are not expecting flooding from the rainfall, though. That's a good thing. Heavy rain staying well to our south. It's just showers in our area. Clouds and radar forecast for us. We have the clouds with us. We get into the evening hours. The rain showers start moving in from the south, especially areas south of I-94. To the north, we could get a couple of showers moving up, but the better chance farther toward the south. Monroe, Adrian, as you get into Monroe uh, County, that's where also near the shoreline. We still have those concerns with the flooding. Now, we will be getting into our Saturday with the rain showers, Sunday rain showers around the area, even into our Monday and Tuesday. A couple of showers left over. Here's what we have out there as we look forward to the weekend. Temperatures in the lower to mid 70s for those highs. And then as we get to Wednesday, dropping down to about 66 for our high out there.